Debunking nutrition myths. There are numerous cancer myths and misconceptions with ideas rooted in old wives' tales and theories. While there are truths in some, many come with unfounded evidence. Let's look at the evidence behind some of these myths and misconceptions surrounding cancer. Myth 1. Sugar feeds cancer cells. Carbohydrate is the main source of energy for our body and it is the only source of energy for our brain. Carbohydrate is broken down into simple sugar in the process of digestion and sugar is the simplest nutrient that is used by our body cells. Various carbohydrate foods that we commonly take are fruits, dairy products, rice, noodles, bread, crackers, bean products and starchy vegetables including potatoes, corn, tapioca and also drinks and desserts that are sweetened. All cells, including cancer cells, depend on blood sugar or glucose for energy. Providing cancer cells with or depriving them of sugar does not speed up or impede their growth. However, there is some evidence that consuming large amounts of sugar is associated with an increased risk of certain cancers. It can also lead to weight gain and increase the risk of obesity and diabetes, which may increase the risk of cancer. Myth 2. Red meat is bad for health. There is some research that shows that red meat, such as pork, beef and lamb, may probably cause cancers. However, red meat provides nutrients that are not found in white meat, such as iron, zinc and vitamin B12. These nutrients are important in the formation of red blood cells and hemoglobin. In view of that, the advice is to consume no more than 500 grams of cooked red meat per week. This provides a balance between getting enough essential nutrients and not overindulging in a particular meat group. Myth 3. Juice. The more, the better. Juicing yields a high-calorie beverage that can be helpful for some during the treatment phase, but it provides little or no protein. Most cancer survivors need extra protein to heal after surgery and treatments. Drinking too much juice may result in limiting intake of other important nutrients in your diet. Being well-nourished through a well-balanced diet leads to more successful treatment outcomes. Myth 4. An alkaline diet can cure cancer. Cancer cells can't live in an overly alkaline environment, but neither can any of the other cells in your body. There is no good evidence that changes to one's diet can manipulate the whole body's pH level or that it has an impact on cancer. Given the fact that our body reacts naturally to maintain the pH balance, the role of alkaline diet remains in question. Myth 5. Eating too much burnt or char-grilled foods causes cancer. Heterocyclic amines, or HCAs, and polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, or PAHs, are chemicals formed when meat, such as beef, pork, and fish, are cooked using high temperature, such as deep frying or grilling directly over an open flame. Currently, there is no study that establishes a link of such exposure from cooked meats to cancer in humans. However, there is some suggestion that it occurs in vivo in a test tube. As such, most of the major cancer agencies have advised us to be prudent by limiting our intake of such foods. Myth 6. Honey is good during treatment. Honey is made up of fructose, approximately 38%, glucose, approximately 31%, water, approximately 17%, and the remaining carbohydrates are maltose, sucrose, and some complex carbohydrates. It also contains trace amounts of vitamins and minerals, like vitamin C, iron, calcium, phosphate, etc. Honey has antibacterial and antifungal properties, and it also acts as an antioxidant. Hence, taking honey has its benefits. However, if one is on active treatment, for example, chemotherapy, radiation therapy, or undergoing stem cell transplantation, honey is not safe to be consumed, as most honey is not pasteurized, and it may contain pollens or even bacteria that could cause allergy or infection. You may purchase the pasteurized honey, 
but you will not obtain its good properties as all the active enzyme would be destroyed under the high temperature during pasteurization. In summary, no one diet can solve all problems. You can go for a personalized diet plan and keep the nutrition principles in mind when presented with a new diet trend. Kinh Fukudan and Araricus, sản phẩm Fukudan Nhật Bản có hàm lượng Fukudan cao nhất được Bộ Y tế cấp phép với tác dụng phòng và hỗ trợ điều trị ung thư, giảm tác dụng phụ của hóa xạ trị. Độc quyền phân phối, công ty cổ phần dược phẩm Sisina liên hệ tổng đài miễn cước 1800 0069 để được tư vấn. Kinh Fukudan and Araricus 